rock. How does this get so many views? Dude, what the fuck is this, man? Oh my god, was there ever more of a <laughs> boy name than rock? Where's people to guess who's the fuck boy from the group of strangers? Huh? Hi. Hi. What are you doing here today? I was told I was going to guess who is a fuckboy. How would you define fuckboy? Uh, somebody who prioritizes maximizing the number of people they sleep with. They do the same things over and over again, try and make you feel special, but have the same lines. They're unoriginal. Why do you think you are able to do this? Oh. I've been around it a lot. Yeah, they, they say they, they're unoriginal, but um, if you get the title, it's because you're, you're successful in that regard. So unoriginal, yet you fall for it, so it's like, I mean, how can you call something unoriginal if you fall for it? It, it, seen, it doesn't I make sense. It's, that, that's not even... That makes sense at all. No, I, I certainly hope not. Do you think only men can be fuckboys? Absolutely not. I have been through my fuckboy stage. But I'm pretty honest. I don't lie. So I think fuckboys lie. Guys, so in addition... It's, 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 like, it's, like playing, it's like playing a game of Dark Souls and saying, Oh, dude, people who made this game aren't very smart. There's gonna be an enemy to the right. And then, uh, you, you die to the enemy to the right. Into guessing the fuckboy, I also want you to guess some other dating personalities. I'm gonna bring these out to you. Everyone you're gonna see today self-identified with you know? I mean, they would have to. I was wondering how you scientifically figured that out. Clingy as fuck. Fuckboy. Oh, gender neutral fuckboy. Habitual ghoster. So what's a total package? Is that just a perfect person? Yeah, it's like the catch. Uh, no such thing. What? Hopeless romantic, yeah. Uh, you don't see too much of that anymore, huh? No mama's boy. Oh, I'm a little bit of a mama's boy. I'm eager to meet somebody who self-identifies as the crazy one. Yeah. You think you're the crazy one? Oh my gosh, yeah. I think it's thrown too much at women sometimes just for having emotions and putting them out there. But I am crazy. All right, let's bring it on. Oh, that's usually what crazy is. I mean, that's that's usually it's crazy okay. that you guys self-identify. Okay. That that's crazy. These, by the way, it's fucking nuts, man. The total package. Who thinks that? Hello. What's your name? Mazzy. You ever been in a relationship before? Yes. They broke up with me. They broke up with you. Yeah. Tell me about the, the last date you went on. We went to do karaoke. I sang uh, Say It Ain't So by Weezer. Say It Ain't So. Not a crazy person song. Not the song of a ghoster. Do you feel like you constantly need to be around people? Yes, I cannot be alone. You cannot be alone. I can't be alone. I'm thinking clinky as fuck. And what are you like looking for right now? Clinky. Cool, funny people and sex and that's it. I'm gonna give you habitual ghoster. I'm just gonna say that because you said you're in it for sex. In like 10 years, where do you see yourself relationship-wise? I have no idea. Um, I definitely need to work on myself a lot before I get there, so. Healthy. We'll see. You're, you're, oh, you're not even close to crazy. A completely non-judgmental way. I think you're clingy as fuck. <laughs> there you are. Hi, I'm Sophie. Nice to meet you, I'm Ashton. I like your outfit. You look nice giving Dolly Parton with them boots. Thank you. Sometimes <laughs> I feel like a Western star and you know today's that day. Tell me about yourself. I work in tech, hobbies, photography, art. You're very put together. How would you think your previous partners have, would describe you? In some of the past relationships didn't really go too well. Have you cheated? Once. I learned my lesson. That's no, you can't be the weird. total package and that, you cheat. There's no lesson, dude. That nah, nah, eh. If you're a cheater, you're a cheater. I'm sorry, How would man. your partner describe sorry, you? Sorry, Confident, man. sexy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Caring. If, if you're if you're coded to somebody who's, who's a cheater, you're a cheater, man. It is what it is. It's not, guys. It's not big of a deal. Okay, you, you're not you're not an outcast. But if you've cheated, you're coded as a cheater. It is Bing. what it is. It's hard to change. It's hard to change that. Yeah. Say it. Okay, I'm just gonna go with my gut and say. Hope it's hard to change it. Okay, I believe you to be Ashton, the total package. Congratulations. Oh wow. You're all that in a bag of chips. <laughs> Yeah. What's up? Hello. I'm a female. We're on a first date, right? I don't uh, know what that is. What is I'm, that? I'm <laughs> sipping a drink. He's not saying anything. Oh, I what that was. What's your favorite thing to do on a, on a nice sunny day? On a sunny day, I kind of like, um, I love going to Gasworks Park with my friends. Oh. Is that is that all you got? Yeah, that's all I got. <laughs> that's all you got? I don't date what anymore. Are, you don't date anymore? No, I already have a relationship. So have a kid. Oh, I kind of like his oh, shirt though. Hey, guys, this, this is kind of cool shirt though. I kind of like that. Yeah. Down the line, yeah. Wow. I wish it was bigger and more more kind of baggy and like more uh more aggressive of a, of a piece of clothing. But overall, the design is cool though. When was the last time you lived with your mom? About a year ago. You close with your parents? Uh, yeah, my dad passed when I was 12, so it's just my mom. How important is the parents' view? Like, I guess it's an important part because, you know, I respect my mom and for mm -hmm. what she's done, so. I'm thinking either total package or, like, hopeless rom romantic because it doesn't really seem like there's much wrong with you from what I'm seeing. <laughs> Do you love love? Yeah, I love love. 
Nice. What do you like about it? It's beautiful because, you know, you can, it's always growing. Guys. I'm thinking hopeless romantic right now. Could be a mama's boy. You're the, you're a sweet. You know that about yourself, <laughs> huh? I, I don't like this pants, though. Boy and you have a nice face. You look well Yeah, these pants are all I mean. <laughs> <Thanks>. <laughs> hey. How's it going? I like how nondescript he's dressed. Someone who's like nondescript. What other personality traits would you associate with? Well, they're guy, not attention seeking. Though. I think a fuck boy wants the attention because attention would maximize the likelihood that they are able to fuck, right? All right. How would you describe yourself in a relationship? Very loving. I'm usually the role of like the listener. There you are. This guy's kind of cool. I think it I like this guy. A couple of things he I said. I think I like this guy. Like, he's a good listener. The most clingy partners I've had have also been good listeners. He doesn't look clingy at all, though. Loving. Okay. Why, why'd you put quotations around loving? Oh, that's my own personal trauma. Mm. Are you mingling? I mean, no. <laughs> the, uh, uh, the last relationship I, I, I don't feel like super that. well. She just kind of came out of nowhere and broke up with me, man. You know? I think hopeless romantic is like I the best more chill. one. So, yeah. There you go. God. Yeah, guys, this guy looks kind of chill. Looks like he he uh, he takes what he gets when it comes his way, but he doesn't chase. That's that's, that's my vibe chain. with this guy. <laughs> but you look cool. I'm Brock, by the way. Brock. Oh my God. Was there ever more of a fuckboy name than Brock? <laughs> What's your like ideal date? Like Brock. Uh, that, and that's like gonna be Chad. You're getting that's out there, but also Chad. like there's lots of room to talk. Right. Uh, right. Get to know I'm each other. Brock. Talking. Communicative. Not characteristic of a fuckboy. What is your relationship status right now? I am currently in a relationship. How long have you been in that relationship? Two years. Two years? Wow, that's awesome. How's it going? Were, were you expecting less? No, that's awesome. <laughs> Good for you, Brock. Thank you. I'm going to give you total package because you're the one who's been in the relationship the longest. Okay. All right, like I'm going to say mom's. I, I like the fit, but it, it's, it seems a little... Um, Hello. It's, Tell um, me about yourself. A little clunky, a little lot. loose. I like to go to EDM festivals. You go out a lot, you go to a lot of rave. Yeah. <laughs> Wild and crazy. Huh, okay, and what is your relationship status? All the red right flags. Now? Single, but still seeing my ex. Are you dating other people as well, or just your ex? I'm not really dating, maybe just like fucking to cope. Wow. Oh, wow. Powerful. Oh, yeah. That should be on a shirt, fucking to cope. Avery, what are some of your toxic traits? I'm like an manipulative sometimes. Yeah. Absolutely unhingedly <laughs> crazy. Similar vibes here. Okay. I am gonna go with fuckboy. What? Because when they walked in, TBH, I thought it was either her or Brock, so sorry, Brock. <laughs> you ever cheat? No. So how would you feel if somebody did? You know the fish sauce? Mm hmm Probably pour it in their car. Okay, that's yeah, crazy. Yeah, crazy one. Crazy. Go ahead. Crazy. Take that. <laughs> yeah. Crazy. Hey, Avery, you're the crazy one. Congrats. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. Hello. I'm Dusty, and apparently the crazy. put a fucking potato in your muffler. It wasn't because I was looking down the line. I just, this has been a real trip. How long, in, like, after you meet someone, would you want to have sex? I'm okay. demisexual, so, like, oh, okay. if I am interested yeah. in them emotionally and stuff, then, yeah, I'm totally down to have sex right then yeah. and there. A couple months ago was the first time I went out with another person again. A couple months ago? Mm hmm How long was the interval of time you waited? I was, like, three years. Before you went on a date ever again? Yeah. Oh, my God. You are not a fuckboy. Okay. <laughs> Go ahead and hop back in line. All right, how do you think you did? I think I did all right. Somewhere along like these first three, I definitely messed up somewhere. Maybe I got three right, and if I'm being optimistic, four? Raise your hand up, selfie got you right. Yeah, it might look like a fucking popsicle, for real. Oh. What? <laughs> Only got one right? Okay, okay. Yeah, nice, okay. I'm happy about that one. Go ahead and switch signs. They all got them right, dude. Yeah, yeah, I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew, <laughs> see, I knew I messed that one up. I didn't want to. Okay. Wait, Brock the is the crazy package. one. Yes. Yeah, you really got me on that. Oh, wow, dude. Right, what makes you crazy? That's... Um, I'm just bipolar and I never take my medication. Are you trying to take oh. ownership over that word? Yeah, I think like, you know, with a lot of words that are like taboo to use now, people who like associate, like are trying to take back those words and like, you know, crazy is one of them. Yeah. How do you, how do you feel about that word being thrown around with crazy? Um, I think people don't use it how I would use it. Like, people generally use crazy like, oh, you're gonna key my car. 
you know, not that I have done Right, slash the tires. Exactly. I knew it. I knew it. Like as soon as like as soon as you walked back, I, I wanted to switch it. Really? Yeah, it's because because you were so hard to read, and oftentimes like when when you're a fuckboy and you have operations like that, you you can become hard to read. Sounds stupid to say after the fact, but I also had a feeling because of the way they looked at me. How did they look at okay. you? There was like a little bit of like sizing up. I mean, they looked at you. Yeah. <laughs> what makes you a fuckboy? I think it's the confidence aspect, and I would be. Oh, the I want to hear about the other ones. Butter and jelly. I, 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 get, I, I, I get this guy. Yeah, yeah, I would guess this guy. I knew this I guy was, was uh, Mama's boy. Because it's special to you, core memory. That's not wrong with Is being that what a I Mama's call them? boy. I, call them, I consider right? myself a little bit of one, so you got. That's what I call them. Trey, I get you right. Oh yeah. What makes you a hopeless romantic? I'm not really trying to play around. I'm All trying right. to oh, you're trying to get, you get to know somebody, serious. you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Are you the type like to bring fl flowers and candies and all that? I mean, come on. Yeah, I'm a musician. I like to sing for him, too. Oh, you're a musician, too? That's dope, man. Yeah. I yeah. feel like this, well, that's this nice. uh, phrase comes with some... Guys, guys, this is like Jubilee sometimes. at home. I feel like people use this term to like make themselves look better when they are somebody that like, needs to work on themselves. Hmm. What's up, you fucking dick? I was just kidding, I was just kidding. Would like to point out, I was told I would fit this by my girlfriend. I was gonna ask. I think you were saving fuckboy for me, though. I, I was save. I was saving it, but like after talking oh, okay. to you, honestly, I got. I don't. I don't. I didn't get that vibe. Okay. I think you're a cool dude, and I think that you probably have a lot of positive qualities. Uh, I think that nobody is the total package. I would. I would agree. Kind of like a. A synonym would be like a good partner, right? And that's what I kind of identify as. Just trying to nonstop better myself and guys. Respect. I think I think I think mine would say a perfect partner. Her boundaries and her herself as a person, and um, I date you. Or dude. like you, shouldn't be on this video. I'm, I'm taking. <laughs> clingy as fuck. Damn, I was close though. You're not crazy. You're clingy. Yeah. Sisters, those two, oh, clingy, clingy and, and crazy. And crazy. Yeah. What makes you clingy? I get like. You guys, you guys, give my you guys chat. Give my label chat. What would my label be? Separation huh? anxiety. Tell me. Hello. Yeah, you're like a puppy. Yeah, literally <laughs> like a lost <laughs> puppy. But does your ex-boyfriend know this is you? Like, loser. Yeah, he he knows. <laughs> yeah. Even though I had my own Pozo, car, okay. I would make him drive me to work, j just to be in the car with me. So to be honest, I just think What's she knows her worth. So good child. for you. I think you should okay. keep making the men in your life they work. Like, no, I'm not crazy. I'm not crazy. Exactly. Nice to meet nah. you, Avery. Thank you. This comes not crazy. as uh, a shock to me. Like now that I like, I see you with the tag. I kind of, I kind of see it where it's like, oh, if you're not emotionally attached, I'm out of here. Okay, I'm over this. That was fun though. That was kind of fun.